So we're just gonna. So today is the BB Lighthouse Keepers, right? So ah. just a, a quick uh, here. This is my. Yeah, this is my artwork today. So I'm calling it blue, and then it has. I just draw, 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 and then it has twenty three pieces, right? And then, uh, and this version is without words, so it goes like that. Then I design it such that if you punch your own hole, you can make a book out of it. Okay, but it can be a postcard, and then it's it's digital art, so you can you can go on. Uh, uh, T-shirts, you can go on uh, pants, whatever. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you all can make things like that as well, you know. Uh, then it's, it's so it so it just goes on, and then I have something like this really cheeky <laughs> on my own face. <laughs> And then I, I put in, uh, I give it my uh, a name for my studio. It's mm. very whimsical. It's called Say La Vie Bon Bon Stra La La. And then I, 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 so I'm making this and this is what I'm exploring. So I write it down. So Tasha, maybe you can do something the same for yourself. Mm. Like mm. the name for your studio. Mm. You, and then you kind of write very briefly about what it is that you're exploring right now. And it kind of, it kind of changes, right? You know, but this I I this is my twenty year <laughs> journey, uh, and uh, twenty one actually. So so I I decided okay I'm gonna freeze it. This is this is the name of my studio, okay. And then uh, there's another company called Ponder Effect uh, on the publication. And then we have under Bilberry's Blue another company called Charcoal, where the artwork can be uh, produced out of or published out of as well, okay. So, so this is a creative piece, um, and maybe this is something that we can uh, work out of uh, BB Lighthouse as well. You know, when we when we when we go about setting up the uh, the space. So, this is this is without words. I'm gonna show you. Then I had an idea because I was using the the same typeset, and then. Ah, and then there was a version that I did. Uh, no. They are with words. And it's, it's basically a series of books that I had before this series. So I just took the words exactly. And, had this, and I thought it was quite funny when you put the words together with the, <laughs> with the, with the photo, <laughs> with the pictures. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just entertaining myself. <laughs> Wailing helps. I think this is quite funny. <laughs> How about lie down, superstar? You know, so it changes everything, right? <laughs> yeah. So so anyway, this is one of my favorites. Okay. And this one also. I thought this one also, pandemic without consent. So it came from another piece of artwork. So I'm taking from my other piece of artwork or my other piece of writing, art and poetry work and I, and I kind of somehow juxtaposed the two. Okay. Yep. <gasps> Hong Kai is coming in. Wow, Hong Kai. Yeah. <laughs> We are starting a project together. Okay, hello. Oh, hi. Hello. Thank you for joining us. We uh we while waiting for you, we were looking at some artwork uh, that I was doing this morning and uh as I told them that uh, oh the, this meeting is already being recorded, okay? So so we're going to do the same format. I'm just going to record, record one hour, two hours like that, okay? So that later on we can we can use it as a, a training or even pull some out as a marketing etc. or communication, 
Okay. So today is our first meeting for Dewberry's Blue Lighthouse Keepers. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to make it dramatic. <laughs> How do you feel? Excited? A bit lost. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We are all here to frame ourselves. Okay, so... Uh, we have spoken quite a lot about the, the lighthouse visioning, right? So now it's it's really about the pioneer lighthouse keepers, which are ourselves, yourselves, uh, in how do we actually make operationalize it to become real? And since uh, all the resources have been moved to the the school, uh, uh and the the contract was uh we drafted it twice, you know. The first time it didn't seem quite right, and then uh, the agreement because we we are sitting in the school, right? So there needs to be an agreement between the school and ourselves as the organization. And then Bilberry's Blue has quite a lot of organizations uh, uh, to serve different purposes. So um, the one most suited for this is actually a not for profit, the One Love Limited. And as a result of that, we've also moved everything into One Love Limited. Okay, so all the stuff's going to be donated to, to One Love Limited. So, uh, so there, there is a bit of uh, structure, but there is also a bit of discovery. Okay, let me see. Uh, um, I'm going to pull out the document that I was doing yesterday, last night. At first, I thought I will allow, make this a bit open-ended, but I think maybe we've had already had all the open-ended visioning and that maybe now as a as a project um, we need to be a bit more concrete except that i can't find that file maybe it's in here somewhere ah bilberry's blue operational plan okay it's here Okay. So, uh, Hong Kai, this is how we we set up the uh, every time we have a project. Okay? okay. So you put the name of the 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 company. Okay, that's relevant. Like I said, Bilberry's Blue. You know the the framework, right? It has many companies to to be able to operationalize the vision, and then we put the name of the. Uh, kind of umbrella project. It's the lighthouses. Okay. Okay. So, and then this is a work scope relating to the lighthouse keepers. So, under BB Lighthouse, there may be other things. It could be strategy. It could be visioning. It could be different, different things. And, and like, we have done it earlier as well, right? The meetings that we had, emergency Bilberry's Blue. So, 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 it's kind of contained. So that then different people can participate and then there is a start to finish. Okay. So for for this one, I learned in Tasha, this is also something quite new for you because earlier on we were we were doing it without so much tight scoping. Okay. So I wanted you all to have a feel of it when it's not scoped as well. Same with the emergency, you know. So that you get a sense of feeling lost, but it's actually not lost, but it's just new, something new. And how do you frame yourself? Because if I would have shown you right from the start like this, you may feel very secure. But then when you get into a place where it's very new, you will start to feel you don't know what to do. So I, I, I preferred it that the experience was such that you were thrown in the deep end first. But then as now we're ready to operationalize, then we can't all be like having no structure. So, so that's why today I decided, okay, Let's let's go with a, a, a typical. So this this is more a, a characteristic of when you're going to be fielded in a few work already. Okay, this was my kind of experience twenty five years ago. I don't know whether still relevant. I, I guess so. So when when we're going to go to the field work, we we always scope the work and and we always plan it. Okay, and I was going in as an auditor, so the, the 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 work is very specific. So for us, suddenly different is we have to design our work as well. And I think that's what's exciting about uh, the light, being the lighthouse keepers. 
Okay, well, Ellen and Tasha are also apprentices, and that's kind of like a role, like I'm a sustainability steward. Then they have different projects. So Ellen and Tasha have been fielded into different, different projects, right? Different, uh, and, and they were doing the open studio, they were doing the emergency, and yourself, Hong Kai, you came in during that time. So this is how we work as a team, you know? Different people have like different um, projects and different roles. Hong Kai, you have a role. We haven't disc named your role because you will be participating in this and then this and when you're on kind of volunteerism and we, you might be our first like volunteer role. I don't know how, how to say it, but yeah. So, so we're all kind of pioneering um, this whole vision of Billboard's Blue, which is a... Um, to develop the character right through community and and service and and then generates sustainable entrepreneurism so when we scope so so there's this uh, project management kicking in here the skills there is uh, the leadership and direction kicking in as well so the three of you uh, is essentially going to be driving this right using this framework and of course uh, um, Vincent will be around myself and Saif as well in the physical space. So it's going to be on, on physical, on site and online as well. And maybe even mobile. Okay, so th these are the three workspaces. So, so where we always start with is the governance. You must know your role in what kind of organization it is. Because everywhere that we go and we're doing work, it has an interface between an organization and organizations. So you need to know this. So, Alan, Tasha, this is the legality, okay? You will need to have mastery about this when you're a BB Lighthouse Keeper because everything is about law. And essentially, if you look at the UNDP SDG impact standards, uh, they have now rolled out one, uh, it's in second draft, but by the end of the year, they will finish it. Uh, it's the impact standards for enterprises, right? Um, and the heart of it is uh, human rights, okay? So we're going to embed it in under tube governance model, okay? And there is something called agency, right? Your citizenry and your participation in, in society. And then we, you know, so, so these are the issues and then we will slowly take ourselves through it through while setting up BB Lighthouse, I will prompt these areas and then we will document it and then we can say who is it that uh, will be completing it, will be doing the work, researching, learning. So I, I have a conviction now that uh, it's really, while you, you can have some kind of like, like now, a meeting, a lecture style of doing things, but ultimately, uh, whether or not you know how to do, whether or not you know something or understand something is you have to do it. You know, and even if you do it, you have to take a few times to do it, you have to take a few times to do it. And you, that's what we're here for, the, the mentoring and the support and, and then the framing, okay? You may not fully understand why did I structure it like that, but after you do, 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 then one day you're just like, ah! And then, you, then you're ready to be able to design and structure it for yourself, for others, okay? Uh, it didn't take very long for my own personal journey. Um, by th the third year, we were very confident already. While having the exams, while having learning the knowledge, then filled it into the different different experiences or clients. Uh, we kind of got it, you know. Intense but super fun, uh, You know, when you're in your mid twenties, you can. But even in your early fifties, you can. It's super fun because because it's a craft. Okay, so then the B part is. The Lighthouse has a development plan, so we've gone through that and then we've discussed it, we've validated it. So what we were doing was actually having an idea and then we went into different community groups and we went to validate it, okay? Uh, and then with, with that, we are then now going to operationalize ourselves. And then because COVID came about and COVID is going to be here for a while and it's going to become an endemic anyway, right? Uh, that we have to live with, then, then uh, all the more in the space that we are setting up, uh, we, we, we have to deep instill uh, 
the the COVID safety and, and readiness and if should there be an infection, what do we do, etc. Okay. So uh, I will finish up to here, then I ask you all for questions. Okay. So then what's important as we go into the school, we are going to be modeling for the role modeling for the students in the school, isn't it? We are older where somebody outside the school has trusted us to host the space there that, that it's like a beacon, right? That's why we call ourselves a BB Lighthouse. Then how we conduct ourselves, how, what we wear, um, it's, it's all very important because, you know, you, 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 we're there to, uh, as, as youth stewards, right? So then depending on what it is, so Ellen and Tasha, so this is something you have to work through yourself, okay? What is your work wear going to be like? Okay, so, so when I was saying, oh, when we are hosting um, uh, the CEOs and the guests and the leadership, community leadership people, like when Hong Kai visited, uh, we, we would dress quite formally, you know? Then uh, our day-to-day -day working, uh, how do we want to our, our, our dress wear to be? So you see, as BB like housekeepers, you get to set all these because it's your setting culture and a norm. So if you remember the community character formation, the development piece, it's about new communal practices, new curriculum, new. I can't remember the third, <laughs> but. What we're doing is we're, we, we have to try it out, right? And then also don't forget your glasses, don't forget your hearing aids. You know, if for, for those of us who are in crutches or in wheelchair and walking aids and, and many more, list them all down, right? So that the space can host, you know, all kinds uh, of people who are working, who are coming to work in a workplace. Right, and then how do we help uh, everyone not forget where they put their things? Right, you, you so the more you put your things in the same place, you want to be able to find it, and others also can help you sort out your stuff. So, there are toilet facilities there, there are shower facilities there, you know. So, so when you when later we go there, these are the things you have to kind of look out. So, as, as night housekeepers, you're looking to host this space for other people. So maybe we try it out ourselves for uh, one quarter, three months. If it's not enough time, we take another three months, you know. But by the end of the year, we have to go back to the school and say, we've now uh, uh, been in this space, in the school grounds for these months. By the three, third month, we should know already. I think we would like to do these things uh, in the, the next year, 2022, you know. This is, these are the programs that we would like to do. These are the projects that we would like. These are, you know, this, this is what we would like to do in this space. So then we need to put together a paper. They have to submit it to the school, the board. Um, and we would then have to make an, uh, our own announcement and publication as well. Okay. So this, this is the expectations that I'm kind of setting for us. So are you excited when it's like this? <laughs> Exciting, right? Yeah, yes. so, so because of uh, COVID, we have a little bit of time. Uh, so we, we, we have the gift of time. Normally people, if they get a space already, you know, they, they will have to have the urgency to, to quickly roll out programs. But um, we, we, we have the gift of time this time. So, so we need to go deep dive it deep well. And then mobility is a very big uh, matter. Also because there is the COVID, um, social distancing and also all the traveling um, and traveling on public transport, right? I learned Tasha, the gate accesses um, and then inside the school, what are the, the, the rules and regulation? We have to be very respectful that it's a school, you know? So... So, so all these things we have to note it down, write it down, or somehow in our lighthouse keepers operating manual, <laughs> if you will, needs to have some notes about it. 
right? Because we, you can't be briefing everybody every day like this. Either that, or you just say, watch this video. <laughs> That's why we are recording this, you know. But then people will fall asleep, you know, because it's, they're not part of the, the Zoom, right? So, do you have questions at this juncture? What does, what does the school know about this? Like, what, what, what would students come in? Sorry, I, I'm... Sorry, what do the students know about? So, ah, when they come into the space, what are they going to do? About? Yeah, they don't know yet. Oh, they don't know Neither do the school administration. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because... I mean, we, we spoke briefly about this, but uh, we were given a very creative opportunity to define it. I mean, of course, they know it's about fully inclusive, sustainable entrepreneurism, but how is it going to be like? What is the actual experience like? They don't know yet. So it's all very exciting, right? They're going to see us coming in and out, or they're going to maybe start tracking us on, on the social media, you know? I, I, and, and I think it's, it's, it's that kind of excitement, engagement, uh, and fruitfulness, right? That, that we are really hoping to bring into the space. So, uh, I think we currently now have 50 boxes <laughs> down there with two washing machines, uh, one dryer, one kitchen studio. <laughs> uh, all our furniture all wrapped up. Uh, I think it's actually quite fun to go and see as it is, you know. But I, I don't know when you're going to get your, uh, your jabs, your, your, your vaccination. My first one is this Sunday. Uh, this Sunday, I think okay. I'm getting infected. I had my first vaccine shot already on um, Wednesday morning, last Wednesday morning. Okay. And then I think my next appointment will be, mommy told me on the 1st of August. Okay, okay. So... I suppose we could take the chance and just go after everybody's got one jab, I think. Uh, and Ellen and Tasha, if you are not so comfortable yet traveling on the MRT, then maybe you can have your parents drop you off there. Because I think we can start doing some work in July uh, because Vincent has some time. And I kind of like it that all of us, uh, now we can uh, allow up to five, right? Uh, can actually experience these boxes being there. <laughs> I think it's very important as lighthouse keepers that you understand when you're kickstarting something, you have to kickstart and you have to clean up and you have to recreate again, okay? So it's, it's wonderful that you all saw the uh, BB Studio journey. But actually, nobody actually <laughs> was able to work the packing. <laughs> and, and I think that kind of, uh, that kind of, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know how I got through it even. I think it, it's a drive that I hope every, all the youth stewards can have because you will find that you will be the only one left to clean up. <laughs> And you still have to continue and then you still have to come back. But uh, these 50 boxes, um, what, what was very amazing was that the, um, we have a very good group of uh, um, packers. They're really young. They're very vibrant. We should make friends out of them. We have. I have. Um, so you all should make friends out of them. And I think when we start doing our um, cataloging of resources and dreaming of some of these resources being able to be delivered to homes or, or somehow whatever, right? Uh, it's, it's Singapore, right? They're trying to help people, right? So, uh, uh, so, so knowing uh, packers, shippers, delivery is, is very key. And if, if you want to go into e-commerce as well, right? Um, or enabling others to go into e-commerce. So logistics is uh, very, very important. Uh, so then, uh, Hong Kai had sent us their library template. So you have to be able to take us through this, Hong Kai, because I have no idea. You've seen how I, cat I, I don't catalog. <laughs> so this is where I have to learn to be disciplined. Yeah, so Hong Kai has prepared his library template. So later, let's, let's get into it. Um, and then the, we have to design some kind of a library system. But I think before you really launch into designing it, you need to see who are the, the target users, who's most attracted to our work, to our resources, 
who is most in need of our resources and how do they access it okay so can they see it online and then can they access it uh, on site but if it's it's still difficult for outsiders to come into the school like you saw I, an email i had right to write to the school so i i'm very I'm very particular about us being in the school uh that we tell them exactly who are the approved persons to go into the school so that there are no surprises on our end and on their end so you can't really kind of just simply bring in a friend so this is this is almost like the most exclusive library <laughs> You're, you cannot bring anybody in except the BB Lighthouse keepers are allowed to go into the space and into the school ground because they, they have a, a list of our names and they'll give us, they'll give us uh, uh, access, you know. Aren't they sweet? Yeah, they trust us so much. So when somebody trusts us so much, we must, we must not lose the trust, okay? So that's, that's the most... If you forget anything I said today, okay? the most critical foundation of BB Lighthouse is trust. Okay? And when somebody gives you the trust, you don't, you don't uh, ruin it. You don't just give it away. You don't destroy it and you don't take it for granted. Okay? So, so, so we are there uh, because they trust us, they respect us, uh, they believe in us. So, so, so the people coming in and out uh, is going to be have approved persons and we will do it quarter by quarter. So I'll do it one list. So that's why everything goes back to governance, you see. Trust goes back to governance. It's not being rule, uh, rules-based rules or being rigid and all that. This is, this is all down to the safety, safety of the lighthouse keepers. And, and it's a particular culture that we need to set because uh, we, we, we will have very vulnerable people in our space and in, under our care. So that's very important, okay? So being a steward is always being very mindful of uh, essentially uh, the needs, or the safety, firstly safety uh, of, of everybody under our care, okay? Then only we go into the doing. So while we are setting up a space, these are basically all the safety checks, okay? So then we will go to look at the site uh, and this is very fun because we will map the site. So I'm very used to it. I go to a place, I will, duh, 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 my eyes will just go already because I'm so used to adapting spaces, right? Uh, for needs, right? Um, and I'm so used to looking at safety uh, and also possibilities. So for here, I don't want to tell you all anything when you all go in. <laughs> yeah, you guys log it. Okay, I want, I want you all to be able to do it as. After a while, it looks like instinct, but it's, it's, it's honed, okay? So you map the site, and then you interface with uh, Vincent, and uh, he's an artist, a visual artist, mu music, musician. Um, he has carpentry background, he has construction background as well, you know. So he comes with a really different perspective from me, so I think that's very, very rich. Uh, and then, of course, um, the other person is going to come into the space is Saif. So Saif is like governance guy, and um, he's been in the um, what do you call that really? Uh, um, foreign foreign service, right? In Southeast Asia, in Europe, and all that. So he too comes with a, a scanner inside him. Okay, so all of us come with a scanner. And then scan the space for safety, and then scan the space for possibilities, and then how do we work it? And, and there will be like everybody will like this will be here, this will be here. but how in the end do we settle down and we have to work the, the space reconstruction? Okay, so we're not gonna have ID guys, not like a typical process that other people do, you know. Oh, we are, we are going to do it ourselves because we, we also do installation art and. Uh, and, and all that. So we love painting, right? Nothing, nothing better than having our hands really, you know, create the space itself. So, so this is what we have. And I, I have quite, I, I, I bought some really beautiful wall paint, but maybe we will put it on, on wood so that if we, when we leave, we can, we, can, we can move it, okay? So, so the whole thing about the BB Lighthouse is that uh, it's an art, a creative space. 
space for creativity because if uh, we're going to run another cohort of the youth stewardship, right? So, Hongkai, if you can join us, that would be great, right? Uh, the, uh, get to know some of the other global youth stewards, four sessions, and then after that, one session each to, to understand the formation milestone, right? And I am journeying it first time under Bernie, right? And I find that I grew tremendously by leap folds, right? Uh, because I'm understanding that formation at the heart of it is creativity. So it shifted my, my prioritization of where uh, my work guidance or stewardship is, you know. So, so this whole space is going to be very living. So, so every single thing in there is, is like living art kind of thing. Okay? Yeah. Uh, we have that kitchen studio. <laughs> Uh, we have a lovely uh, um, carpenters who uh, volunteered and they, they helped us take it down and moved it together with the corridor classroom. So it's all there for us to either modify or use. If we can set up and we have the per right permissions, because that space that they're given with was an X F and B space, you know. So I think they already had the, the clearance before, but I'm not sure if we can have a clearance. And if we have, then we can cook our own food meals there. You know, it has a beautiful oven. You can even uh, bake and, and everything, okay? So it's got pantry, got dining things. So this is like setting up like a getaway house for you all, right? <laughs> I can see already. Woo -hoo! <laughs> it's been like, yeah, one of those stories that you have, you, know, you all go and then you have your own space and you create it, you know, uh, are you allowed to do it? Uh, so, um, the lighthouse, every lighthouse that we, we create, you know, there will be tools, you have, they have space care. So, so these are some of the repair stuff. Uh, again, everything we should do it hands-on. Oh. Ah, so this one is a repeat, sorry. Uh, there should be an office space as well. I think there's a, a, some space there where, where we can set it up like an office. Because no matter what it is, we, we will need to do all the administrative stuff. And uh, while well, we have the, uh, the, the, the cooking there and, the, uh, and everything there, I, I, I think uh, this is something we want to be able to do because we want to be able to do some business consulting as well or ESG consulting. Um, yeah, so, so, so that it doesn't get seen as a, just an art studio or just a library or just, you know, when people try and pigeonhole you. So, what we want to really say is uh, we have this 12 prong sustainable entrepreneurism capabilities. Okay. Uh, and, and part of it is, and, and this is also interesting because understanding what the new office is like, you know, what is the new workplace like? Yeah. So, so having all these things that people do all day is interesting because then we are, we are allowed to kind of, play with it, right? Uh, and, and we're going to have insights that other people can't because they may not have the luxury to play with space. Uh, there is a garden and a farm. Um, they're growing some rice fields and the school said we could contribute and we would like to contribute. So we can actually go and work on the farm, schedule time to it and then study what is agri-technology relating to it, link it back to the cooking the kickback to the circular economy, uh, health and fitness. There are some tracks there and there's a gym, gymnasium there, a gym, badminton court. Uh, so that's also available for us. Uh, once we figure out if that's something we would like to, to use, then how do we do that? I have spoken to a developmental interventionist. Ellen and Tasha, do you remember Sarah, teacher Sarah? For the butterfly camp? Yes, for butterfly camp. Mm. Yeah, I bumped into her. Uh -huh. Yeah, do you remember her? Mm. I remember her. Mm. Yeah, she was doing the OT pieces. She was doing the art pieces or something. Remember you had um, teacher Pim? Pim was doing the sports and uh, teacher Ken was doing music and teacher Sarah was doing the art pieces, right? But she's, she's really an occupational therapist. So uh, she's now uh, set up her own uh, practice and she's actually going to have some speech ther therapists come on board. So 
I had approached her to come and uh, invited her to see this space once we set it up, or even before we during this time period, to get some inputs from her, right? Like how can we use the space to facilitate or or help make the possible uh, some developmental intervention work, so therapy, okay? But we but uh, not in the clinical therapy like the that. That I think after a while the children don't like, you know, it's it's kind of living living. Um, so there's sports and physical fitness and and how do we make use of it? Okay, so this this is the the piece here all about health, well being. Um, the arts one I I've spoken already, so there should be some, uh, a feel of a gallery, um, artist talks, uh, contextualizing art in building community. Uh, and, and then where do we put all our, our studio stuff? Okay, so this because we actually have that all in those fifty boxes. <laughs> so I'm not sure how we're going to fit it all in. It, it might be a way that we are going to organize our boxes such that we're going to pull them in and out. You know, we don't know. Okay, or we might actually even have to have some stuff put in storage. Um, they now have this work store thing going, right? So so let's let's. But these are the things that. No matter what, this is our curriculum. We we will we will need to do this to be whole. Um, so there will be science experiments, stargazing, linking to the cosmos, uh, link back to nature, plant some flowers. I don't know, watch some bees. <laughs> so we we really need to address this climate thing, right, and energy thing. And from that space, how do we make ourselves more aware and how do we contribute to, to the insights? I think, I think what's important is you have to do something up to a level where you suddenly say, oh my word, the answer is here. The answer is here. It's as simple as this. The answer to Singapore's renewable energy is like this. The answer to Singapore's climate change is like this. The answer to world... Um, fragility of um, wildlife, or as as Jelly, our intern, would say it. You know, it's a fragility of. I don't know. He he puts it very well. So we need to like pipe pipe the interns in, right? Um. So Hongkai, we have in, an intern in uh, New Zealand. He is a beekeeper. You know, from young. <laughs> Yeah, he's really cool. He's 19, but he's really cool. He knows all these things and he, he teaches me about all this environmental stuff right? because that was his passion since young. So, so we have, we have different, different uh, people from different uh, and, and the used to words and maybe some interns like um, Israeli and all that will be able to advise us, right? As, 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 as BB, the, we, we are able to access all the BB uh, uh, stewards and interns, uh, our, our whole ecosystem. So, so this question is, is currently coming up, really, really zooming in again. There's a Paul Krugman uh, video, right? He, he reckons maybe the pandemic, we, we kind of have a handle on it, although some countries are really still in very deep struggle, um, uh, compassionately so. so uh, but as, a, as a, just a next step to, to world attention and economy uh, it's, it's coming to this climate change okay so as a fully inclusive sustainable entrepreneurism our strength is in our social right you can see our diversity so now we need to use that strength and go into climate change the environment we need we need to since we can access everybody. So, so once everybody settles down, the youth stewardship program and the lighthouses, once, once you all kickstart this, the others will have a, an idea already. You won't feel so lost, like you said, right? Yeah. How can you feel better now? Like there, can you see the structure? Tasha, you can? Yeah, I can. Huh? You, I mean, it's after a while, you can see, oh my, I have all these things to play with and I have all these things to work with and I have all these possibilities uh, and uh, I have enough guidance and I'm just going to go at it, right? And, and, and then we are, we're queuing you in to, to where, where the energy needs 
to be focused in. But I think you all will know it anyway. I think you all know it better than we do. So that, that's why we say the youth should lead this, you know. Uh, so um, another part uh, is the spoken word, where you sit around in circle and basically read or, or share your poems or sing uh, and tell your stories. So that, that's what we're going to have. Uh, I was uh, reading uh, Paul Clay, this artist. Uh, I, I, I was like, suddenly picked up a book about him. I know, but I've been following his work 20 years ago, but somehow in, in search of harmony, I think uh, because of the last uh, used to it, um, meeting session, uh, I realized I, I have peace, but I don't have harmony. <laughs> I have no way of of uh, making harmony, and uh, I I I think I think it's fascinating that if you have a inner architecture of harmony with all these diverse voices, and then if that inner architecture can come out as an outer architecture, okay. You are the one who said this, right, Hong Kai? Can you explain that piece? You wrote to me, you, you said something. What, what was it? Which one? Architecture? Yeah. I didn't mention No, the, the, the different voices coming together. Different voices? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, you were, you were saying something like... Um, it may not be one story, but maybe like... Many stories or something. I can't remember how you said it. You will remember. Okay. So we will we will do things like that. We will host things like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And and, and so so it'll be fascinating. And don't forget we're gonna have verbal, non-verbal as well, because of our <laughs> diversity of our population. Right? Mm. Uh then here comes the money piece. <laughs> <laughs> this piece is really hard, okay. But uh, we have to keep going to look at the funds, fundraising, program income. So I'm gonna have to get you to do the the budgets, and uh, you'll have to be uh, stand up to it, account for it. You know, it's it's gonna be good. Uh, Omni commerce. Uh, you have to kind of unload, know how to work Shopify. Maybe go on Amazon create the markets because it's linked to generating income and it's also uh, linked to understanding uh, how you support people in the in a global economy that is increasingly about digitalization so that we don't lose touch with uh, how what 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 the uh, eh? what did I do okay yeah, so that we don't lose touch uh, about our relevance. Okay? So relevance is very important. When you, when you want to be in a space where you're helping somebody in need or serving someone, you have to know what's, what is your relevance to them and what is the relevance of what your, 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 your resources are offering or what, what is the behavior, your, 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 your actions that you're modeling. Is it going to be relevant for that community and global society and the longevity and the continuity of society and humanity? You've got to have that kind of, you know, deep, deep purpose of why we are doing this kind of stuff. It's, it's not just the money itself because at the end of the day, society is about economy. If you don't have the money cycle going, it's, it's going to be really, really tough. It's, it, it will just buckle. You, you go and find some alternative. It will just be something else. <laughs> it will go back to rules. It will go back to... You know, so, so for us, we, we don't want to talk about that so much. We can have um, spaces, time, where we talk about and debate about all that, right? Deeply. But for BB Lighthouse, we are going to click market, okay? <laughs> there has to be a determination to click because we are talking about economic empowerment. So we must not talk about it. We must succeed and live it to enable the economic empowerment for those who will not otherwise have an opportunity to have economic empowerment of dignity. Okay? So, so this, is, this is the drive. Okay? And then you have to know how to do all these 
manage your petty cash and your invoicing and your expenses. And then you can see that my voice starts to change because this is a very serious matter <laughs> that will not be left unaudited. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> uh, we had to get through this and we used to have training videos that have many, many such uh, a sketch of me <laughs> getting through <laughs> to a very exciting double entry of debits and credits. Sorry, okay, misappropriation of airtime. All right, so once you get through all this, um, we hope to have something what we call tube pricing. But it's very clear that one part of it is uh, uh, that has a premium. We don't need the premium for our profits. And there's one part that we are uh, allowing access. Okay, And that has to be made very clear. And then there is the financial and non-financial resources that we put in. And that goes into the pricing so that people understand uh, it is really just <laughs> revenue minus cost equals profits and then resources. <laughs> You know, and then once you get the returns, how do we distribute it? Ellen and Tasha, your book voucher from your micro submit is still now in the boxes. It was in the drawer. I didn't retrieve it in time. I retrieve it, I put it in a box. I cannot remember which box. So I cannot find it. <laughs> so I confess that uh, Ellen and Tasha and the interns' uh, equitable returns is still in the boxes somewhere. <laughs> it was a Kinokuniya voucher that. After we split everything out, we, we made 20 bucks each, I think. Okay. So, so we will have to go back and circle and, and document this. So, like I said, uh, it, it's, it's got the skills training, performance, reflection, formulation, insight, next iteration, statutory. You know. So, um, the difference between this and a school work and a school project, I reckon it's here. And, and skills performance, of course, right? Because we're really directly interacting with the marketplace. Um, so, so for us, we are strangely shaping the market. When the market doesn't think that we're in the market <laughs> because we have so much joy and uh, we look like we're in a school classroom. But... Uh, Actually, we are not. We are, we are, we are, this is the BB culture, right? Yeah. So, but um, I think we, we haven't made this very uh, apparent, but I, 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 think it's, I think it's okay. I think when, when uh, there were enough uh, business and community leaders who, who understood, believed our work and came for the, either the, the talks, the open studios, uh, the whatever. So, uh, I, I think it will be phenomenal when we actually arrive to do the summer school in Cambridge. And even myself, I'm, I'm seeing the original BB that I had, that we had, is, is gone, you know. Through this transformation, since the BB studio we documented it and then to now, I think the old is gone already. It's completely something new now. So, so that's what's exciting me. Yeah. Okay, sorry. It really turned out like a lecture. Terrible. One hour. Okay, now it's the floor is all yours. Both, all three of you. Okay, your library template, maybe you want to show us? Need to share screen. Okay. Uh, I've made you co-host, so you should be able to. Uh, wow, they have improved this uh, Zoom thing. Okay. So this is the library template. Then it's I actually didn't create all the headings. They were it's um by one of my colleagues. So. This is the usual template that they use. So th this colleague is a selector. She helps to get books from publi publishers to, to bring into uh, the libraries in Singapore. So you can see, so it's, so you can see the different headings. Uh, 
Then for this ISBN, right, it's actually um according to Wikipedia, lah, it's it's international standard book number. So it's for every book that's out on the market, there's a, there's a, there's this number, unique identifier for each book. Lah. So before 2007, it was 10 digits. Then after 2007, it's 13 digits. But I don't think this is very important now because this is more for like commercial purpose documentation. Yeah. Then you have the authors, the country of publication, the, the publisher, the publication year, the subject. So this subject, I think we can assign how we want to map, like what is it that we want to put down and then the summary as well. And then sometimes the, 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 the books, they may be part of a series. So like maybe a graphic novels and then they come in different volumes or different parts. So you can put them down here. Number of pages, then the dimensions, which is how big or how thick the book is. Yep. Wow. Oh, you document the dimension also, huh? I think it's for the selectors. I, I, I guess we can choose not to. Yeah, because I, I, otherwise you don't have data. Is how, how are you going to put yeah. where? Yeah. Okay. And then there's also the binding. So, I, I just I don't know actually what's a binding. The, the, the spine, the, the stuff that holds all the pages together. Okay. So some, sometimes, I, I cannot remember, there are a few classifications. So okay. what, what is interesting is um, uh, One Love for Billboard is Blue actually does the, we Book publish, idea. we want to publish books, right? Uh -huh. uh, you, you can see some of the resources that we have uh, in BB. Uh, yeah. mm, we, so, so I'm quite big on that and book art as well, you know. They have book, book stores now. Uh, where it's like unique books, right? Mm. Yeah, so BB Lighthouse, uh, my, one of the visions that we had was that our own pedagogical documentation, even if it's a singular copy, right, uh, becomes our library resource. So, so we're, we're kind of like an art, art uh, museum come bookshop come library come, you know, so, so they could either be duplicated or sold or like, but it, it's meant to be very rich like that. So, okay. so things like binding, it's, it's quite interesting. ISBN will be very relevant for us because we will become book publishers as well. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we hope, we do hope that our things become commercialized too because they have to be commercialized so that, uh, okay, Natasha, you may, please don't hold. Go, go. If you need a toilet break, we, we, can, we can have one now. You all want oh, to do that? Okay. I, I yeah, don't yeah. Need you yeah. don't need then then we just wait for, for Tasha. Yeah. So the that's that's a the the vision that we have. There is nothing to to, to stop us because like like uh we, we don't have like a mandate like a, a government institution has or even uh uh um maybe a charitable organization that is very, very tight in its mandate, you know. So, so for us, is uh, we are about entrepreneurism and how how so so the cornerstones and the core brief is kind of already given to everybody. But then how we arrive there, right? Uh, I would think that some amount will be grants, but grants not going to sustain. Um, I think most of the grants are are, are, are seriously now have gone into COVID. Uh, 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 COVID crisis relief almost, right? So for creative stuff, for vulnerable population, for creating uh, economic empowerment that is, that is really robust to the economy, I think we would have to learn to be commercial. It was a very hard decision for me to kind of want to take, but I, I don't know why it should be hard because actually that's what, that's what life is. You you have commercial doesn't mean you're going to uh, compromise, you know. Yeah, it just means you 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 set the market. You need to know the market. You need to know the marketplace, how it operates, and then how your customers or the the marketplace relate to you. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if some customers even see themselves as customers anymore when 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 they are purchasing from uh very interesting brand labels, right? 
it was just very you almost you almost know, feel like you know the creator of the, the the products or the brand you know yeah uh, yeah so so the the relationship is not so transactional so i i and i think bb lighthouse is is kind of going to be like that so bb lighthouse is going to host this space And, and relational. Uh. So, any other titles? Yeah. Finding notes. I think that's it. Notes. Okay. So, that's how you were photographing it, and after that, you, you log it yeah. in. Okay. So, if we were to set up a library system, then uh, would it look like what the library has, or ours would be slightly different? It would be different. Yeah. I think, like what you say, you have to design it based on the target users, right? I actually don't know who the target like what the what's the age profile, the age and the profile of the students coming in. So and I don't know what's their interest or so. So I think we can base yeah, on one, those. one part one part will be the parents, one part will be the teachers. Oh, ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. One part will be the youth stewards. Mm. Yourselves. One part mm. will be then different age groups. Because I, I think we, we definitely want to inculcate um uh, a, a, a culture of uh, literacy you know? mm. Mm. Uh, or, or love of literature definitely um, or a love of reading um, that's, that's why the, the, the BB work has quite a lot of uh, essay writing mm. yeah, yeah reflections are all on essays so you, you may be welcome to write a piece of essay after today, <laughs> taking the very uh, <laughs> structured uh, brief into writing it into something, something that has that poetic and uh, um, visionary kind of articulation, right, framing. So yeah, yeah, Hong Kai, yeah, that's your first homework. Okay. Yeah. I think I think you have amazing strength there. You know, to take to take different to listen and then to cross reference it to your experience from reading other things or experiencing other things. So you're kind of pulling in the all those other thinkers as well, right? And an artist, right? And and mapping it into your interface with say the two hours, you know. I think that's that's what I saw after your visit to to BB Studio that you that's amazing. You have that amazing strength. It's a gift, you know. Not everybody has that. So 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 that's that's what we do as a stewards, right? We tell each everybody this is your gift because you can't see yourself, right? So we mm. can see. Um, so we hone it for you, okay? You hone it yourself. We we, we just cue it for you. So 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 that's what you're able to do. You're able to take all that, and then you have a very beautiful insight. So that's that's what I'm hoping. Like after today, and then as you go along, continue that process, mm -hmm. and then after three months, right? You might actually have a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might actually, you know. So these are the type of uh, writing and pedagogical documentation that we're hoping to see. Okay, so Tasha and Ellen have been actually diligently writing as well, right? Uh, we haven't pulled together everybody's work yet, uh, but that's what we hope. Uh, either Q3, we publish something. Um, because lots of people cannot visualize our uh, our work, and uh, despite many many attempts, <laughs> I'm not really sure how come it's not getting through. But maybe it is getting through. I think the fact that you've come on board, you know, and then Maureen had attended, sent something, uh, uh, and she said it's really good. She's not seen it before. Uh, I'll send what what she said. She said I could share it. Just a short clip. Uh, and 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 so, so Ellen and Tasha, this is what we'll have to do. We have to make visible our work. Okay, not not in the social media style thing, then video, then three minutes, and you know, not that way. You know, and, and we are talking about make vis visible. What is your inquiry? 
what is your inquiry and then apply the highest you know heart and the highest intelligence and highest um applied uh, uh action right and a very honest reflection and then a very honest comeback as well and a very courageous comeback as well you know a respond to that so you got to have this dynamism and make that really open like Wow, okay, so, so that you're very aware, you're very aware, what is it that you're doing every day, then you become very alive. Okay, then other people watching you, so, so maybe the younger students, the, the 16-year-olds in the school, the 13-year-olds, the 14-year-olds, they're going to see, what are they doing? Uh? Bang, 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 and they like, can't stop. You know, first they're in the garden, and then after that they're going there, after that they're running around, and after that they're painting. You know, that. What are they doing? They look like, they, and then all of them seem to know what they're doing, but they're not even talking to each other, they're just doing. <laughs> or then after that, they're making their songs, then after that, they're writing their poems, after that, they're doing their dance, you know? Yet, they're all very unique. How, do, how are they doing it, right? So it's, that's, that's what I'm going to see what BB Lighthouse Keepers the, uh, is, are going to be like, you know? That, that you, you just know what you're doing. And you're so focused. You're so focused. And then you will, you will do it. And you'll do it and you do it. And, and you will know when you arrive. You will know when you have not arrived. Okay? Because nobody, nobody uh, can tell you already. The, the world is going to be so changed, so different, that, uh, that, uh, that that's as a steward and as a lighthouse keeper, right? You're gonna have to be able to make that determination, you know. And you will stand by it. And then the more you make, the more you make things and have iterations, uh, and the more your conviction will grow, and then you will stand by it. When you will not even listen to what anybody says. Even say they say you can't do this, they say, Yeah, we've done it, we can. <laughs> we did it ten years ago, we did it five years ago, we did it in our when I when in our we are in our twenties. You know, so when, when your energy is really fresh, your mind is really fresh, and you have the time, uh, that's when you go at it. You 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 have to, you have to really deep apply all the the hopes that you have, right? Yeah. So I I learned in Tasha. This is the template that Hongkai will show us uh, how to document. Okay. Once the boxes are unpacked, then we, we start at it already, okay? Then, then we will uh, gather them for different users, okay? So for parents, for uh, teacher resource, we have that. Um, uh, for, uh, we have a lot of children's literature and maybe they call it educational books. Huh? Maybe they are like reference books. We have a lot of art books, you know, about artists. How to make art, how to, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's a lot in there. The other thing that we have in there is uh, uh, toys, developmental toys. So, so if you go to, I recently um, brought Keith to uh, NUH ENT, right? So when they have to test for your hearing test, they, they kind of use toys. So you kind of have to train the, the children on, on doing those developmental toys as well they're kind of like puzzles you know so so things like that uh you know the, the therapists actually use these uh toys especially uh to to basically um that's why it's called developmental intervention it's an intervention into the developmental uh needs of the child okay so, so the, the, the toys uh, have like a pedagogical developmental strategy to it. <laughs> then there are some toys that are kind of just open. Then there are some toys, some tools. We have a lot of tools on uh, drawing, um, music, uh, making, making your voice heard. So, the, so these are the categories. Yeah. Then, then there are equipment that are related to the spaces, like the kitchen, the dining room, the office, the garden. 
so so you can see after a while that these are the the pattern languages right so so if you have one imagine you have one file then you have different tabs you want to kind of organize it that way as a start yeah then the other problem is how do we find these things <laughs> i don't know in the library they, they label everything right by another department so they take all the different assets uh, assets then i think it's very like a lot of work i don't know how they do it yeah. i don't know how they do it you know i don't know how we're going to do for ourselves you know <laughs> you all want to do that kind of thing tag every asset but if you don't they said it will be lost right ah uh, yeah i mean you cannot do anything if it's gone lah. yeah yeah you see we we only for, for our collection uh, we only have one copy only you know and it was all bought with quite we don't we, we are not uh we don't have grants you know we don't we're not so this this is all uh i i i suppose one of the other ideas i had was uh if it's very difficult to catalog everything then what we do is if we do loan out these books we just put them in like boxes Right, because they're toys, they're loose items, right? Then, then at least we can check in, check out a box, you know, to each family, for example. Say, like, if a, if a therapist is working with a family, if a therapist is working with a family and the family doesn't have that resource, then the therapist comes and tells us, okay, I think we need a set of these couple of things. And then maybe the parents or the uncles or aunts or grandparents would like to read this resource, then we prepare it and you just put it in a box. The other way is they say, oh, these are the pages that might be relevant for them. Then we just go and photocopy those pages. So, so usually, or uh, they might say they, they don't have time to make, they don't have time to make this um, visual schedule, right? Then we can make them. So I learned Tasha, you know, all those, uh, therapies you used to go to and all that yeah Hong Kong maybe you can stop share the screen already yeah Ellen did you go to uh, any of the therapies like the speech therapy yes yes I've been to yes I've been to speech therapy mm -hmm. okay what what do you do there in the speech therapy well, I I say I need to concentrate with my phonics. I need to learn how to talk by myself. I also to talk to others as well. Hmm? Mm. So these are the things you said you wanted to to help other children with, isn't it? Yes, to interact. Hmm. Mm. I think you will be a very very good person to be able to do that either where on online with another therapist or you know uh help with the physical uh materials yeah yeah so this is something you you, you kind of have to put in the back of your mind because you experience it right there's no better thing than uh, an empathy that is coming from a, a, a shared experience you know you will bring a lot of uh, inspiration ellen yeah so you work on your phonics of course of course <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tasha, how about yourself? Did you go for any of these um, therapies for the? Yes. You did too. If I recall correctly, I also mean, mean I also went to a speech therapist. Okay, okay, wow, okay. So, so one of the target groups, Hong Kai, maybe the hearing impaired as a start, I think. That might be a very concrete one as a start because uh, these are Ellen and Tasha's strengths, right? Because uh, uh, they understand it and uh, uh, they're doing uh, so well. Uh. Both of you are wearing a hearing aid today. <laughs> uh, Tasha, you are doing your sign language as well. I saw it in your work yes. schedule. Huh? Can you share with us how's your progress and what you learned there? Well, a few months back, I finished my level one, but this month, I'm starting my level two course in sign language. 
is there is there a sign or a word you want to teach us today? <laughs> well, regarding BB Lighthouse, based on what you've heard today, what what is coming to you? Is there anything that's coming to you? <laughs> Huh? Okay, what's the first word you learned in sign language? Well, um, I think the first time, I think it was with Teacher Jake. Yeah, she was teaching me how to sign the alphabet. Oh. And, so uh, she's, she's learned to sign as well, huh? And uh, yeah, Hong Kai, so one of the things you can do in our spoken word uh, circles or festivals even, you know, next time uh, is, is signing. And that's, that's very powerful, you know, that we can do. So I, I think uh, hearing impaired, because uh, there is another school principal that I've been discussing with um, that... Uh, it's called Lighthouse School, strangely enough. And there are only 70 students and they are visually and are hearing impaired. So I, I, I'm quite keen that the, the BB Lighthouse Keepers uh, mm. somehow have an interaction and engagement with them. Uh, and maybe they, they might be our first uh, population where we structure our resources. So, so when you want to try and restructure, when you try and structure things, it's better you have a target, right? Yeah, so 70 students and let's see how we can, you know, um, support these 70 students. Yeah, I, I don't have uh, experience uh, with visually impaired apart from uh, the, the standard um, short-sightedness and long-sightedness. But when it's, it's, it's very seriously visually impaired, uh, I, I don't really have personal experience and I, I kind of like to take this uh, three to six months to learn that. So if the school allows us to go, then we will also go. Okay, so, so that's, so I think these are the two um, population that we're going to pulse. Okay, we're going to, ah, Ellen, you do too. Can you show us a sign, Ellen? I always do sign language. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, what's your sign? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I uh, also I I also learn like mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> I love you. All right. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. If you like to I want to call to watch movie movie like this. <laughs> Who is are you? <laughs> you know, you know what's going to be amazing if you go into lighthouse school, bring some of our stuff, you know, and 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 we really play with them, dialogue with them, right? Uh, I I think we can't sit alone the four of us anymore and talk and talk and talk. You know, we I think we're kind of all ready to go out and and uh, interact. Uh, I really hope this COVID thing will go away soon. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but hopefully everybody will be vaccinated by then and then we can do this. I mean, even if they put us behind a screen, we will go in and do, you know. I mean, we're so ready, right? What other, yeah, like reading to the children, songs. So I, I think BB Lighthouse, after we, we set up everything, I, I, I'm not even so sure that we need to be so pedantic about logging everything, you know. I think just shove everything up there, have a rough idea where we are. I, I, I'm, as I'm talking to you, I, I kind of prefer the, the interaction <laughs> and the, with, with, our, with others uh, will, will deepen us and enrich us much faster uh, as to what, what, what we need to do. You know? and it doesn't have to be very big. Like small, small um, circle, small, small is beautiful, small circle time, you know, get to know people. Um, work with them. Uh, so, so if if it's a school setting, then we can definitely help with uh, uh, the the school integration and their 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 work and all that. Um, so, so 
we first have to set up first and after that the school will, I'm sure will say, would you like to do this with us or not? I, I can't speak for them, but we can definitely say, oh, they can come and some of these students can come and visit uh, the lighthouse for maybe lighthouse tea or something. So Ellen, Tasha and Hong Kai, yeah, so it's, it's really about hosting and hospitality and creating all this. Uh, yeah, Ellen has seemed to have an idea. I can't hear you, Ellen. Mm. Mm. What were you saying? Of course, I can host you now. You can? Mm. You can what? I can host. You can? I host. Can host. Yeah, mm. you can host. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you think you host in, uh, in particular themes? What kind mm. of subject? Yeah, you know, what kind of subject would you talk about? I think I can talk all about everything: sun, <laughs> nature, uh, world, even a uh, technical knowledge. Even I I I also learn technical knowledge. Mm. Ten year. No. Yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. Then. Well, Alan, what books do you read? Huh? Oh, it's not coming. How come? Oh, general knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. You have a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think you can talk to, to the kids, the children. You can read to them too, huh? It would be so cool, right? Yeah, you can, you can, what books do you read now as a 22 year old? Huh? Do you have a book club? That might be interesting. Yeah. Kind of like Hong Kai, yourself, Tasha, kind of older age group, right? 20, early 20s, mid 20s, what do you all read now? Or watch movies together? And then talk about it. Yeah. I think I think some of these things we've forgotten how to do, you know. I don't know, they sound very old fashioned, right? Mm -hmm. They all still do this kind of thing. Not with my family or with my friends. Uh, no. no. You don't like talk about the books that I read. Yeah. No. No. Huh? No. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You read a lot, don't you? Uh, Can you tell us about the books you read in Hong Kai? I think mo most of the current books I'm reading are related to the work I'm, I'm doing for Marina. now. So okay. like things like I've been reading out on library signages, wayfinding, and then outside of that for my own leisure purpose. I borrowed a book written by a person with visual impairment <gasps> and <laughs> it is a, it's a romance fictional novel written by this this VI person in Singapore. I think he's quite established. Tan Guan Hing or something. I, I borrowed already and I started reading. I haven't finished reading but then my dad took it away from me and started reading. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, yeah. that, that is inspiring, isn't it? Now, that's the other thing we can do. We can invite these guests in to, to any of the things that we, were, we want to organize or host, you know. Mm. So maybe BB Lighthouse is like a, a, a different place, right? Since we've got all these things going. I mean, I, I, I spoke very much more on the operational things and the safety things and all the... Uh, you know, uh, the economics and all that. But maybe the core is something. The core is a. Uh, I think when y'all came to BB Studio, it really hit home for me that it's a home. Yeah. It's a home that is has a lot of things going. <laughs> it's it's but at the end of the day, the the, the element of uh being a sanctuary, I think. Uh, is, is what is differentiating us, right? 
we're, we're not just an operational place, right? I mean, there are many, many places that are operationalized even better. <laughs> so, what do you think is the core again? The, like, what, what would make you guys... How would you define yourself as uh, the lighthouse keepers, you know? I think the ability to mix, to get people from all backgrounds and then mixing them together and then getting getting new insights and sharing about our experience and then like what you say, achieving harmony together. Yeah, I think as keepers, that would be, I mean, that would make us, that would be, make our role as keepers unique lah, if you're able to do that, to, to, to gel everybody from different backgrounds together. Wow. As you were talking, I'm, I'm seeing all these colours and uh, yeah, a harmony of an orchestra of colors. I don't know why, as you were speaking, yeah, because light, lighthouse is like um, it's like a color, right? It's light, mm. right? Mm. But then it's not loud nor intrusive, isn't it? Tasha, what do you think a lighthouse keeper's uh, job is uh? apart from doing all the maintenance work? <laughs> <laughs> the creative maintenance, of course. What, what do you think is the, the, the role of a lighthouse keeper? Well, um, I think as lighthouse keepers, we should try to understand people better. I mean, let's say the kids who are special in need, I mean, hearing impaired. I think we should try to understand them better. Wow. You can't bring you can't bring people together until you understand them, right? Mm. Mm. You get the insights. You get understanding. We should actually understand them, huh, Tasha? Mm. Mm. What do you think will come out from that understanding? I think once you get to understand my, uh, people better, it will be easier to bring, bring everybody together. Mm. So it is to bring people together. Mm. There's a call. Apart from all those things that I mapped out my curriculum, <laughs> I'm so funny. I'm like, do, 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 a social, ecological, social, don't know what, don't know what. <laughs> and then you'll give me the answer. It's just to bring people together. <laughs> wow. Do we need all those other complexities or not? Still need or not? Or is it simpler than that? Huh? What do you think? That's a very simple place. Do we still need all those complexities? I think it would be useful. Huh? Still need, right? Be, yeah. Huh? You still need that cerebral piece, right? The, the yes. huh? yeah. I think that's, that's the excitement as well, right? There is a, <laughs> so we just still need the two pieces, right? So it's uh, people coming together. So at first they will want to dialogue. They want to be understood. We allow that. We host that. And then after that, we want to work together, right? So we will need the tools mm. to work together. And we need the tools that uh, have the neutrality as well, right? Otherwise, it's... it's uh, so I think that's why libraries are useful. <laughs> a, library, a library ideation or a studio ideation is useful because it has that neutrality. Brushes are just brushes. Colors are just colors, you know? It's, it's not already formed into a particular um, narrative. Mm. Right? So, so the place essentially is kind of going to be very clean, right? This is a living room, this is a kitchen, this is a, 
there is no so much uh, narrative upon narratives about it, right? Because we're allowing the, the narratives to emerge. Right? And then the shape of that, or the fabric of that, or the whatever you want to have. The, the map, use the metaphor. Ellen, what do you think? BB Studio is, uh, BB Lighthouse is about people coming. What do you think your, your, your job is? Yes, as you see it is, a lighthouse that showcases people for many people who want to go to come to, to BB Lighthouse, remember? Hmm? They want to come. Yeah, and also we, we also want to learn from us, learn what is also as well. Mm. You want to hear from them for? Learn, learn from each other. Learn from each other. Yeah. yeah and also, the house in me to find as well to read books and also to pay them as well or get to many art. Mm. Mm. So you come, you learn from each other, then you have all these activities that you can do. Yeah. Right? Mm. Yeah. Mm. And. Uh, Enjoying things, enjoying your books, your, your, uh, and then doing your work. I mean, if you feel inspired to work on the project together, you can embark upon that. Right? It is a lesson then just you never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Wow, I want to be uh, be part of your VV Lighthouse now. <laughs> I just want to sit in there while your while your so your your energy is so positive, you know. Your energy is positive. It's a uh, because the the intent the intent is pure, huh? The purpose. You 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 really desire uh what what is your drive again, the three of you? Obviously it has to be a drive. You're sitting down here just talking to a zoom screen, you know. You got so many other things you can do. So what made you mm. commit to this project? What is the drive? I think the drive for me has always been seeking alternatives. I think that that's one of the the principles that was from then, right? I think it's always to discover how we can do things differently. So, like the idea of this BB lighthouse, it, it, it stood out because you recognize the idea of authority and and but also to build a community where where the relationship is is fostered based on um mutual concern and care for one another. I think that's 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 what really appealed to me. Yeah, I guess and I wanted to make such spaces. I wanted to see how we can develop more of such spaces in Singapore. Mm. Yeah. Just a sincerity then, huh? Very basic, very basic uh, human, human to human sincerity. Right? You almost think that this should this should be a given already, right? And yet, it isn't anymore. Huh? It has become an alternative. Yeah. How interesting! Isn't this supposed to be the basic given? Wow, so, so, so it's what like Bernie said, right? We cannot, <sighs> we still have to learn all the things that everybody learns and still do them very well. The fundamental commitment is 
like you said, mutual consent, authority, mutual respect, care. Mm. And then, how do we make it happen? And we don't let it go, let it go. So that's why you're a lighthouse keeper. You don't let it go somewhere that it isn't. That's why I ask you all this kind of questions. So that you will remember today as the first day and then as things evolve and if you find that, oh my goodness, it's not going where, you need to listen to this video again or you need to look at your notes again. And that's why writing is very important. right? And then you will remember, then you will need to reboot. <laughs> And it's also okay, e even if you wander off. Uh, um, so if there is going to be a lot of people who... Uh, do you think there'll be people who will be angry in that space or need to express their pain, their woundedness, that kind of thing? I think there would be, but I'm not sure how, how they, why they would want to come into our space and they are angry. Like, I, I don't know what kind of impression do they have our space for them to want to come in in a state of anger. Sometimes when people find there is a safe space, they then allow themselves to access the anger, which is actually hurt. Mm. Mm. And then so we then, sometimes when people want to see if you are truly there for them, mm. they test you first. They, te they test you first. They test, they test, or sometimes they feel that um, they've been told so much that they're not lovable, right? Mm -hmm. Then they, they kind of want to do the rebellious things or the maybe what's considered obnoxious or rude or to kind of see, so do you love me? Do you still like me even if I'm like this? Okay. Or do you still, so are you really liking me or allowing me in conditionally just because I, I behave, perform like this or I, you know? Etc. Etc. Mm. Yeah, especially if uh, maybe some are really whatever whoever they are are being rejected mm. by people closest to them. Mm. Uh, some maybe it's their own perception, but you know whatever it is. I mean, of course, the younger children and all that is a different situation, right? Because they have their parents. They have their teachers, uh, the therapies and all that. It's a different situation. But as you, once you cross the adulthood, right? Say about 21, right? Then maybe you start exploring, you see? Maybe you, they, there was, and, and, they, and, and so you are the youth stewards, you are the lighthouse keepers. So they will want to challenge you. Mm. Yeah, they want to challenge you. So, so you say this, so how, so how? Are you going to also be like the rest of everybody else who judge, who, who uh, say one thing and then do another, you know? Uh, or are you, are you like a... Oh, hi, yeah. Uh, or are you in a... Um, sorry, in a Zoom call. <laughs> uh, or are you... 
are you going to be able to stand to the acceptance that, and unconditional love as, as you say that you are, you're offering? Or, you know? So that's, that's that kind of uh, so-called hostility that the lighthouse keepers might face. I faced that. <laughs> I couldn't understand it in the early years, and but you 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 will have to go through that, so it, it could be quite emotional. So I'm kind of working on the emotional front now, right? The emotional readiness, right? So while I said at the start that in every space we scan the the physical safety, the health safety, etc., there is a particular thing that is very interesting: the emotional safety. So. I'm glad that came up for me now because as a lighthouse keeper, your job is not to take the abuse, okay? Doesn't mean that you have to sit down. And say, your job is to keep emotional safety even though you want to have the harmony and, and all that, right? Uh, and be able to set the boundaries around that, you know? Uh, so if there is a... I mean, if you can see somebody, it's, it's really off already, then you might just tell the person, I think we need to calm down or uh, uh, even at the start of the meeting. Or That's why I've set up a lighthouse rules. What I've done is set it up so that you guys are protected from it. If anything goes, you just point to that thing. Sorry, this is our lighthouse rules. <laughs> You know, no matter how angry we feel, how emotional we are, da da da, we need to keep to the the decorum of the of the space of the the the, the culture of the community. You know, so n not not that you all end up becoming like stormtroopers, <laughs> clones or whatever. But these these are some of the techniques that uh we you will have to practice it lah. Okay. So, so people who tend to like peace and harmony are also people who uh, maybe cannot be very firm. Well, people are unruly, but maybe you have to be yourself. Yeah, either that or uh, you calm them down and then you have to assess whether it is bordering on a, on a medical need already. Okay? So some, some of these skills and wisdom will come up as, as, as you go along. Uh, of course, uh, it's uh, uh, we we have a so this this lighthouse BB lighthouse is uh, constituted under One Love Limited, right? So One Love Limited has a responsibility to keep uh, the lighthouse keepers safe, physically and emotionally and medically as well. Okay, so you have to hold that. Uh, to to one love, you know, so one love may have its directors, may have its. Uh, so currently, it's kind of still me, right? But <laughs> but as it evolves, right, that's the type of a uh, uh, mutual accountability we have to hold uh, the organization, whoever you feel, because you are the first pioneers, uh, lighthouse keepers, and there might be be more. So then, how how do you do you observe the the evolution of it, right? Um, fights will happen between humans. I think if you are in a space and there are no fights, then maybe, I, I don't think you're relating with humans yet, right? I, I don't think you should expect a very sanguine, sanguine kind of space. I think you expect a living space, a living community, a living uh, laughter, banter. But having said that, uh, for the strangest thing about BB, we haven't had that much fight, you know. <laughs> I mean, you met a uh, Washima, Himal, etc., right? No, no, you haven't met them. Yeah, we're always laughing like this. We will talk, we will. The, the person who loses it the most usually is me. I'm like, ah, this cannot be accepted. But then you'll calm me down. But I, I, I think maybe eventually you will see this as a, as a maturation process. So maybe if you're handling the youth or, or whatever, right? Uh, uh, 
maybe the awareness that it's just a maturation process and you you, you somehow yeah I, I i i don't think i should speculate too much about maybe maybe it's just during our times we we are like that maybe your generation you, you're gonna be fine <laughs> you're just going to be it's going, it's going to be easy going you know easy going i i almost think so i think there is a more easy goingness about you than than in our generation do, do you see that is do you see a generation gap or generational difference i think there is but i don't i don't i don't see how my generation is more easy going on the contrary, I think that some of my peers, they're more, yeah, they're becoming firmer. <laughs> yeah. So maybe all generation has that aspect to that, to, to them, I like, think, like, firmly chasing after what they want. Uh, yeah. I see. I mean, I see. because right now we have a lot of tools, like, but like, I mean, social media, it's easy to mobilize people's opinions and all that to just to just to justify your your actions things like that or mm. your beliefs so for my generation i think that i think it's so much i think to the extent that they might not notice the nuance the the, 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 the all the different nuances then the black and white is much more visible to them. It, it, it's much more. It's it, it's it's more black and white now. It's either this or that. It's very binary. I don't know. Like, whereas I think, yeah, that, that's how I feel. I, I I don't think people think about the nuances these days. It's easier, it's easy to, it's very easy to pick a side now, to pick a, a stand. Oh, because the media is accentuating the polarization. Yeah. Huh? Because it's easy to do that. It's mm. easier to do that than to present nuances, right? Mm. So somehow with the social media as a tool, it, it, uh, you, you just strike that message, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You're striking a message rather than a, a, a opening a dialogue, right? Mm. And then people don't have patience to, to listen through to the to different views, right? So this is a very interesting insight, uh, Hong Kai. Let's put this down, right? Okay. We, I, don't, um, huh? I don't think it has anything to do with the generation. I think it's the person's personality that the going comes in. I don't think it has anything to do with this generation. <laughs> also very, very well observed, Natasha. Very well observed. I think I think it's a it's a personality type personality thing. Is definitely a personality. So uh and personalities are interesting, uh some some you see two people and right? you're like, how can these two people be the best friends, right? Like they are completely different personality, temperament, different. But then, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, when they hang out with each other, they are just resonating and happy, right? And one could be just quietly listening, listening. You know, I kind of describing my husband. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wow, how can be twenty five years you can just listen to me, right? With my fieriness, my, you know, it's it's quite funny, but it it works, right? It works for the both of us. But I, so I think maybe the lighthouse is going to be like that. So you can always get all this, you know, but because you know each other so well, and maybe there's a, there's a commonality uh, that I, I think there needs to be like some kind of intrigue or there has to be some kind of like a sincere desire to kind of know each other, you know. Like genuinely, not 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 to play to the galleries kind of thing, or not to try and uh, make you one of my story kind of thing. You know, if if so many people are, are chasing their own story now, right, and they're just 
chasing their own story, really. They publish the food. <laughs> they publish food. They publish the food. They're chasing their own stories. So you become an object to them. You're not a friend. You, they think they are in friendship, but actually it's not, right? If, if the, the spaces that I've seen really work or the communities that I've seen, or us, we're friends. Because there, there is a deep desire, this deep care. Like, I, know, I want to know what you really think. You want to know what I really think, right? I, I think, uh, and what do you really feel, you know? Are you okay? So I think maybe that's, that's, that's the stuff. Eh? It doesn't matter. Is it uh, huh? your, your, whether you're having a grouchy day or it doesn't matter if you don't speak to me in the particularly most uh, fanciful greeting that day or every day even, you know? But, but there is... Friendship is an interesting thing. French, uh, I, many people have told me, for me, I have a gift of friendship. And I was wondering why. I really do make friends with people everywhere. <laughs> I just go walk around. And I, 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 I think you, it, 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 it cuts beyond everything. When I don't know how to explain it. Maybe, maybe the word is authority. But um, it, it, it's... Um, yeah, so I don't understand all these things uh, about all this polarization, all this when they define inclusiveness and why do you need to define it, right? So I think BB Lighthouse is almost a kind of rebellious response <laughs> to that over hyper definition of uh, you know instead of going inclusive, they went and defined multiplicity, right? And then after that, people start to fall into camps. And after that, they start to fall into hybrids. Because they, they, they start to want to identify themselves by these definitions that become other people's metrics. You know? Then you become a digit or however to be counted by somebody's story. And, and I think maybe that's my refusal to write those grants applications in the end. And I say, why don't we just make our own money? <laughs> By our own freedom, you know, in some ways. I mean, if the grant is written very well, I mean, with, with the same intent as our, our work, then of course, by all means, we will take it, right? But um, if it doesn't, we don't have to bend our back over, you know. So just remember, as lighthouse keepers, right? At the end of the day, it isn't even the physical space or the tools, like, like what you're telling me now today, right? As long as there are enough of us sitting in, in a, together, listening deeply to each other, right? Understanding each other. Um, do with the, uh, yeah, help me with this, Ellen. Don't give up. And then, so Ellen, Tasha, and Hong Kai, right? So if I present to you like this, if there is nothing, what would BB Lighthouse keepers do? There's nothing. That means no space. No tools, no library. <laughs> then how would you start BB Lighthouse? Go and explore new places together. <laughs> <laughs> Go and explore new places. So together, right? Yeah. Huh? That means you just call each other. Ellen, Tasha, Hongai, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> go where? Just go lah. This is better, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> huh? Because BB Lighthouse is defined by us, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. Okay. That means we don't really need anything. What is this again? Tell me, tell me. Pastor, give me a word. You see, I like to define things. Write this down, uh, Hong Kai. Write it nicely. Uh. Write it nicely, this two hour session. <laughs> <laughs> and then Tasha too, don't laugh. Huh? You all have to write something as well. <laughs> you can be short, you can be long, but write something about this discovery that we have. Huh? I started with that whole spreadsheet. It's like, I think I went to OPP, you know, scare people, A, B, C, D, E, R, R, do all these things. Then after that, as I talk to you all, I realized, hey, okay, lah, those things are important. Da, da, da. Those are very operational things, but what, what is the essence, right? The essence is you don't even need the, the space. 
you know, all those 50 things in the 50 boxes. Actually, BB Lighthouse can be anywhere, you know. Mm. BB Lighthouse is actually BB mm. Lighthouse Keepers. Well, well, actually, we can do today. Huh? Yeah, we can do today, you know. We can zoom together, yeah? Yes. And we, and we, will, we will do many, many things that are uh, to communicate each other. And I learned many knowledge to get it as well. Mm. So, Ellen, your, 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 your view is very consistent. Uh. Yeah, yeah. Learn from each other. Mm. Yes, yeah, exactly. Your, your, yours is learn from each other, learn from each other. Pasha, yours is you have to understand each other. Hongkai one is what again? Thing, mixing, social mixing. Social mixing. Huh? What what is that again? Just to be able to um get people share this same space together. I think like people from different backgrounds. Yes. Come together to, to, I guess, to learn to empathize with each other. To understand each other, to get to know each other. No. You say share the space. Do they, how did they share the space? Do they feel a sense of belonging? Mm -hmm. Or are you the host and then they are the guests? How does that happen? Yes, I would think that I'm the host and that they are the guest. And my duty as a host then would be to invite them to make themselves feel comfortable, to mingle around with the rest of the guests in this space. Mm. So it's still it's still the it's still hosted la. Mm. As a start, huh? mm. it's not like you just open house and then they kind of take the things from the fridge and then they pour and after that they make a mess and they go. <laughs> Worst case scenario. <laughs> or they trash the place. No, right? That's not allowed, right? Oh. No. So, so they, they, it's still hosted. Then what if some of them start to say, I want to be a lighthouse keeper as well? You think that will that transformation will begin after a while? They will say, "I want to." So my question is really asking: When do the cat guests begin to feel that it's also their home? Is that going to be our goal, or our is our goal just going to be people coming in and out, in and out, in and out? What what is the end goal? Is it going to be like people feel so comfortable that they can just walk in and out and at the same time, they're actually maintaining the space. Equally, with the same care, responsibility and fervor that you have. Not possible for the whole population, of course, but for the, for the BB Lighthouse visitors, I suppose, as a start, or guests. They're guests, huh? they're not visitors, right? So it's not like you go into a library or a museum, you know. So, so think a, a bit around that as well. What is this space, right? What, what, what is it transforming for that community? So you brought a few, a, a group of people together. They're very diverse. What then actually is the transformation that is happening for them and for the grouping? And then is it going to be just one-off? Or is there a continuity? So I'm just going to, yeah. So we finish our two hours. What do you think? I think I have to give more thoughts on what, what's the... The, yeah, to the last uh, question. Yeah, 
I, I mean, it came up for me too. So, I mean, we, we will keep exploring and exploring as we go along. And as we go along, it won't be on the Zoom anymore. We will be actually doing the work. As we're doing the work, we'll be talking and, and et cetera, you know. Mm. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's questions like this, right? So, and it's, it's okay. So, after you do some work, then you write it down. Yeah, after that, you, your reflection can end up as a question for the, the next discovery. So, so, so it's okay. So, uh, I personally find that every time I do this work and with all of you, uh, in the morning I, when I wake up, I'm already smiling. I don't know why. <laughs> so, there is an excitement. There is a very good positivity. Uh, it's very different from my other work. Some other work, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm going into a fight. But somehow doing this work with all of you just... Um, it has a different quality to it. So my hope is that we will continue to keep this quality, that, that, that sparkle and the joy um, and the sweetness, right? There is a sweetness. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's the thing that when people think of coming to BB Lighthouse, they have this excitement. Yeah. yeah that it's no, it, it won't go to a place where it's it's, it's a chore, you know, or they take it for granted. There is a, there's just a, a, a greeting of joy kind of thing because you're, 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 you're meeting each other. And then sometimes you cannot explain it. You don't know why. But maybe the explanation is that uh, you, you, you have that. Tasha, help me. The shared one. Uh, what are we shared? We have a shared something. There's something that's holding the four of us together, if you think about it. Mm-hmm. Like you say, Auntie Ping, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I want to do, I want to do. Oh, what is that? What? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's more excitement on want to go for the BB Lighthouses. Yeah, but why? Why? Why are you so excited about BB Lighthouses? Um, you know, it's a space in a school. You know, lots of people don't want to go to back to school. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably because of what we are planning to do. It's because of what we are planning to do, and what is it that we're planning to do? To set up our BB Lighthouse, not only in the school, but... Um, what, what is it that we're planning to do that's making us so exciting? Um, I mean, you, go out, you go out for meals with your friends, you go out, don't know things that you do. You don't jump out of it. <laughs> excitement, so... What is this thing that we're going to do that is so exciting? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, mm-hmm. well, I'm going to take some photos if you <laughs> Because I think I have my answer already. Do you all have your answer? Tell me what it is that we're going to do that is making us so exciting. Mm-hmm. Well, I actually... Well, I think we, we must give some. Oh, no. Go on, go on, sorry. I just saw Auntie what she must message. Well, okay. Never mind. Uh, are you at the band? Yeah. I think we must give some care to our to give some care to our kids and children. I also we 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 will share a part. They they is what we must care to all children or or our wife to will because they want they want care. I hope whatever they come to that, that house, like I hope I want to really the place. Of it good. Mm. Hope. Yeah, hope. Mm. You want to give them hope, care and hope. 
Yeah, share hope. Mm. Share the hope. Yeah. As well, okay. Sharing. Hong Kai. Yeah. That's our glue. <laughs> it's hope. Okay, hope. This is what hope looks like. Wow, thank you. Alun! <laughs> this is what hope looks like. Hope looks like this. Okay, so remember, this is how you're going to hold those people. Okay, hold everybody. When they're angry, when they're sad, when it goes downhill, that's going down to its loss of hope despair and all that. Then you're going to say stop, then you take a break, rest, whatever, calm down. Then you're going to bring everybody back into hope. Hope feels like this. Okay? Today is the first day of hope. Hope feels like this. It's exciting. There is a positive, you know, there is that, it's, it's, this, you can even feel the joy already, right? And because you have the belief, so, I actually, my answer was, because you can change the world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to have world peace. <laughs> so, I get it now, I get it now. Okay, okay, that's why I could unpack, pack and unpack, pack and unpack. All right, okay. It's, uh, yeah, so you can change the world. It's, a, it's, a, it's rather sassy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's like what Hong Kai say, it's a... Uh, it's alternative because no one has done it before. Nobody believes in it. You believe in it and then you just get on doing it and then uh, uh, and then you, and then you do it and you change the world. Okay? So BB Lighthouse is like that. And what I am almost kind of empowering ourselves today is to remind us that um, we don't need all those other things. It's good. Those other things are necessary and all that. But the core of our, our strength and energy is uh, just turning up with, uh, with hope. The, the hope drives the commitment. The commitment is actually the, 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 the action of hope. Okay? So as long as you, you turn up, and you turn up for each other, and you turn up positively, uh, believing in the same thing, right? Maybe the form is different, but the, the, the intent is the same. So you have a shared hope, okay? So Saif talked about shared contacts, right? Our shared contacts for BB is shared hope. Correct, Tasha? What do you add? Mm. Uh, what, what were you saying before Ellen said? Ellen said shared hope, you said something. Um, I also think I found your answer to it already. Okay, what's the answer? I think the reason for the excitement is because we are going to be able to be spreading joy to others. I think so. Wow. The ability that. to spread joy to others. The ability to spread joy. Hong Kai, you writing, ah? Uh? You're writing now, uh? Yes, 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 yes. Now I don't have to take notes anymore. Hong Kai is around. <laughs> The ability is so important, right? Because you have to have your own joy first. Then only you have the mm. ability to spread joy, right? Mm. So it's the shared hope of the ability to spread joy. Mm. Okay, you got to finish this sentence. Uh -huh. At hope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always do this to other to people. What, what? Spread hope. The, sh the shared hope. Shared hope. Of the ability, of the ability to spread, to spread joy. joy to others. Joy to others. Okay, so you need to be doing the third piece. <laughs> Finish the circle. Yeah. <laughs> yours, yours is about the. What, what is your basis of your excitement? Because you you have a vision. You have a vision of. Finish, finish this piece. It's nearly there already. The shared hope, the shared hope of the ability to spread joy to others. I'm typing it down already. Yeah? Okay. Give you time, give you time, don't pressure.
shared of the ability to spread joy to others. Okay. <laughs> will anchor uh will anchor us to a shared commitment to 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 will anchor us to um a commitment to to understand anchor us will anchor us with a commitment to a commitment anchor us to to a commitment okay to understand people to a commitment to understand people. So this is our vision statement. <laughs> is it? What do they call it? A vision mission? I don't know. Okay. I don't know the difference. But you guys have written your first statement already. <laughs> do y'all like it? Yeah. yeah. The shared hope of the ability the shared hope of the ability to spread joy to others will anchor us. <gasps> That's why it's a lighthouse, huh? <laughs> will anchor us. Will anchor us. That's why we can be a beacon, right? Yes. People are in a storm. Yes. We are like crazy happy. <laughs> will anchor us to a commitment, right? So Hong Kai, you're actually searching to understand people. Yeah? The diversity. That's why you, you, you want to see that diversity. Actually, you want to understand it. So you want to facilitate it to study it, actually. You're like an anthropologist, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah? Correct? Correct? Yeah. Huh? You, oh, you're a social. That's why you went to study... Uh, sociology. Sociology. You want to understand people. Okay, bang. Done already. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So these are your, your, your three of you coming together and uh, forming a, a, a vision statement together. Okay. I think it's a mission statement. I don't know what's the difference. Y'all tell me. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what all these things are. I try and learn it, try and learn it. I say, okay, I don't know what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> but what I know is there's a shared home coming from Alan's insight. Tasha's insight is the ability to spread joy to others. Right. Tasha has the ability now because she knows what I'm, she knows. I know what she knows I'm talking about. <laughs> she has the ability because she got through and secured the joy for herself. So now she knows it's about the ability to spread joy to others. And Hong Kai wants to anchor it. Hong Kai wants the action. He wants to see it. You know, he wants to see it in Singapore first. Yeah. There isn't like um, very interestingly, like most people will say, I, I want it like this, like this, or even peace or harmony. You, you don't say that, you know, which in some ways is some kind of freedom because maybe sometimes people can't have harmony all the time and we kind of have to be able to, be able to live with that, right? And embrace that somehow. I mean, not violence and all that. It can't be sanguine, right? Then, then you're, you're not fully human. So I think where the outcome is about understanding people, right? It's, a, it's actually a lot more compassionate. And, and it's, it's not even like we have to do the stuff, you know? It's, it's almost like we're just the shared hope of the ability to spread joy to others with anchors. No, there is an outcome. The outcome is the ability to spread joy to others. There is an outcome. So, the how is actually to understand people, okay? And the discipline is the commitment, okay? And then uh, we are confident about our ability, 
to spread joy to others because we have joy. And then together we are the hope. Ta-da! Like it? Yeah. We got it. And we got it on video, guys. Super. Super. Okay. It's for you. Because we're going to publish this and we don't care if anybody watches it. <laughs> We are having fun. So just remember when you come together, you're, you're having fun. It looks like you're messing around. But having fun and doing really good work looks like this. You don't need to care if anybody looks at it. Don't even need to care if anybody says anything about it. And of course, it says some nice things. Of course, you, you pay a bit more attention. <laughs> but the, 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 the crux of it is that we committed the time to deep work this together. We had no idea from the start of the session, neither did I that we would end up with this, I came up with a terrible looking spreadsheet and expecting you all to be robots. <laughs> you know, and, uh, and we ended up here, uh, which is really the right place uh, to begin. So, so I think uh, this is going to be the, the spirit of how the BB Bite House is going to be like, uh, giving that freedom of discovery, okay? So I've got all your pictures, I've posted in there. I've you've just got one statement. I'm going to upload this thing. Uh, and I'm just going to put that statement in there. Okay, I'm going to dash it, BB Lighthouse Keepers. I'm going to put your names. And I'm going to put it on my, on the uh, BB Facebook. And also my own Facebook posting, okay? So you all ready for the ride? <laughs> ready! All right, so uh, after Hong Kai gets your first jab, then let me see what the school says and then let me see, let's tee up with Vincent's uh, schedule. Then I'll see you on site for the next meeting. Okay? Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>